The world's changing quickly, and we as a society have a lot of work ahead of us. To have a car here today that can run for six hours on hydrogen. The world's next generation of renewable energy engineers. This is what life's about. Every time you do a competition, there's going to be ups, downs, and you just have to be resilient. The clear answer to the age-old question, how am I going to use this in the real world? This is the real world. As they become the generation that inherits and addresses the climate problems that we're facing. We're here with over 200 students from 20 countries. There's some students that maybe they came in as freshmen and they were afraid to speak. And now they're leading the discussion when the team presents at the judging. Are you excited for race day? That's what I like to hear. It all comes down to this right now. We are here at the RE Plus show at the Anaheim Convention Center. It is the 2024 H2 GP World Finals. We have the stock class. We have the hybrid class. It's going to be an exciting racing event here at Anaheim Convention Center at the arena for the RE Plus show. Let's go racing! Here he goes, green flag drops, the timer has started. We are going racing here at the 2024 H2 Grand Prix World Finals here at the RE Plus show at the Anaheim Convention Center Arena. Woo, horsepower down the straightaway, zigging and zagging, inside move on Team France there. The gap is closing in, that battle is coming down the straightaway now. Oh, inside move, looks like Sequoia making that move. Through the 180s they battle into Mariah Point, they approach. Side by side action inside Sequoia. Oh man. Our improvements over the summer of adding two fuel cells. So we are right in the middle of the pack. Nose to tail action here. Technodome and Pinkhawk. Those two teams are actually on the lead lap. That's that orange car from Team Netherlands and the Pinkhawk car. Team spirit is high. We fixed the problems. On the outside, looking high, looking low. Gonna make a move on the inside. Will they shut the door and they take the spot away right there? That is the pass for the lead early on in the race. Hancock and Dehydrogen Schrauber team, they're battling for the lead now. So we've got a battle for the lead. It's actually right here on the sweeper. So now Team Germany out in front right now. The Hydro Foxes team from Germany has taken over the lead now. So our leader now is Team Bulgaria, car number 45. So we do have a leader change, car 45, Team Bulgaria. Makes a noise, Bulgaria. So that's going to give the uh, Hydro Foxes team back the lead. Currently tied with Pink Panthers from Netherlands, but they are a seriously strong team. As we approach, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise at the halfway mark. We have three hours left to go. We are halfway there, ladies and gentlemen. Emotionally, it's a race that we want to win, but they like the problem solving, because really, this is an engineering problem solving exercise for us academically. Their car's been on the track for three hours, and we've seen in real time how things can go wrong. When you have to think super quick in real time in order to get that car back on track. We had to replace some bearings, because we had a uh, bearing shatter. What has been key today for your success? Uh, consistency. Then we run the car too fast, we run out of batteries, and we've been on our last battery since halfway through the race. Yeah, we had a, a problem with the cooling. Uh, at the beginning and uh, we made a hole in the body so the airflow is better. What's the key to being in first place? Making sure our car is organized and our spreadsheets. We do a lot of calculations, live time, keeping track of stuff. We made a few modifications recently. Our biggest one was we reduced a lot of our weight from the car and we also modified our chassis so that it flexes. That allows for like better movement on the track. The recon our kids have been doing, going around the picks, chatting with other teams, yeah. kind of working out, oh, what have you guys done? Huh? Many teams, the uh, Californian finals, we saw some videos and then use now the system we designed last year. German innovation leading the way in the H2GP. Oh, we've got Team France in the pits right now. A little live action shot there. Fast hands, fast hands. Coming in the pits, boom. It's swerving a little too much. Swerving a little too much. Hey, um, hold, up, hold, up, hold, up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up! Hold up. It's hard to do it. Do it. There. Quick, real-time engineering right in front of our eyes. Running over to their pit stop table to diagnose the issue and see what is the problem with their car. Really, really pivotal part of the race right now. Their cars are getting a little bit stressed at this time, a little bit uh, uh, wear and tear. Team Germany, first to 600 laps. Nine hundredth lap, boom! Nine hundred lap for Team Bulgaria.
a good pit crew that can constantly problem solve and the willingness to abandon what we thought design was and go with what's practically working that day. Very hectic. Um, we, it was our last pit stop, so we're out of hydrogen now, um, and we're also getting lots of red lights, so we're not totally sure. It looks like the car's come back, the car's come back. It's not moving. What, what's happening with your car right now? Uh, yes, there a uh, problem now. Uh, it's very important that we focus. So they're focusing? Not very good. Uh, we had a lot of technical difficulties in the first few hours, and we've basically uh, just been trying to recover from that. That's a hand signal. There's some sort of a hand signal. So Team Pink Hawk, can they get their position back? Because Team Tamasek Racer from Singapore, now their car is stalled out. So now there's an issue for the Singapore team. Five minutes, 35 seconds left to go. Oh no, and they've stalled out now. So problems for the Slovakian team. As they took P4, now they got a mad dash into the pits now. 40 seconds left to go for Oakwood Pink. We've got two more laps to go. We've got two more laps to go. That is time the checkered flag waves. Javier from Air Products waving the checkered flag. 2024 H2 Grand Prix World Finals is in the books. Make some noise, everybody. Woo! Team Germany gonna cross the line with 996 laps. Make some noise, Bulgaria. H2 Grand Prix Pro 2024 World Finals. Thank you to all of you guys. This is, this is what it's all about, starting young, understanding how important hydrogen is, and putting it to action. Mine's already going, where are we going next year? Are we racing again? Well, hopefully they announce it today. The boys are very much eyeing, okay, can we, can we get into the hybrid category next year? can work together from all five continents across the globe through language barriers, united through technology and a vision of the future. It inspires me every time how bright the future is because these kids are really passionate about fuel cell, they're passionate about the technology behind it. 